What's going on everybody? Today we are going to jump back in with some Sultai control one more time. Uh, we are going to keep this with our exact same list. Uh, so it's, it is the one that we played with a little bit yesterday. Uh, we did already have a couple of suggestions on things that we can change. So I mentioned sweepers obviously is a big one. Uh, we currently have none. Uh, and I do think that there's some viability to, necessar to, to probably need at least one or two. Uh, somebody also mentioned Enter the God Eternals, which is a very powerful card, uh, and I do think that there's viability there. I do think that that's worth uh, considering at the very least. My only hesitance with it is that uh, now, obviously, a lot of these decks like this one here, very creature focused, very aggro focused, it would be great to have in that position. Excuse me. Um, but the problem I think we would run into is that there are a lot of matchups where like single target removal is not necessarily at its best um and the reason i say that things like azorius control are obviously very popular right now having a lot of like single target removal i i think puts you in a very uh not weak position but definitely a position where you really have to consider your picks um that being said sweepers has the same issue so obviously an azorius control deck a sweeper is not going to do a ton uh, but uh, just some things to think about here. Uh, I don't know exactly what we'll do to change this up, but I do think we'll play around with this list again after this video. Uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and trade this off here. Uh, we just need to save ourselves a little bit of damage uh, against these aggro decks, so let's go ahead and do that, uh, especially since we are going to have to do one of these this turn uh, also as always guys we do have our uh, February rewards on patreon uh, just down below if you're interested in picking those up you certainly can still there's only a few days left to do that uh, but we we obviously would love the support uh, it means a lot from from you guys so uh, definitely check that out the link is down there as well we also have our Instagram link uh, if you're interested in following us there we do post content very regular regularly excuse me uh, I actually just set out like a full-on schedule uh, to try and be able to uh, excuse me post things in advance uh, to make it a little bit easier <laughs> Um, what's our next play? Probably Nyssa, uh, if I had to guess. That's certainly a good one. Oh, I wish we could casualties. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate this. And let's pull out our second blue. We do need our second blue here. Um... My assumption is that Nissa is just going to be like taken down, but I do think that we do we we kind of have to do this. Untap. And we can grow spiral here to help us get to casualties. I think we'll hold off for a sec though. Let's see. Uh yep, you got it. If we can get to casualties, we've got some great targets. Obviously, food here is artifact hit. Um, creature, definitely the Hydra. So we can technically save Nissa here. Is it worth it to you? Hmm. I'm going to do this. Oh. And we're going to grow spiral here. See if we can hit another land. We don't, unfortunate. <laughs> That definitely set us back a good bit. Uh, we do need a green land at this point. That could have very easily been a misplay. Oh, that's not good either. Um, so, tap for two green, tap, tap. 
Let's do this, untap this. Less casualties of war. So destroy target land. Let me make sure. Yeah, we can destroy target enchantment too. That's all, see that I love, uh, that I really, really enjoy. So this is gonna be a four for one. Uh, oops, well, it doesn't matter, I guess. So they do get to sacrifice that, but that's fine. That just forces them into it at the very least. And this is that position where I do think a sweeper in particular would be extraordinarily helpful. Like obviously we're not in a good position here. Being able to just sweep the board would be amazing. Uh, if we can get to Liliana, which I doubt is going to happen, but if we for some if for some reason we were able to do that, we could make them sack two creatures. In which case, we would at least have you know a fighting chance here. I really doubt we're going to get there on it. Um, well, let's do this first. Furrow. Gain a little bit of life back. Drop this land. Do I want to pay two life? I don't think I do. Ugh. This is such a, like, terrible place to be now because uh, if we... So if we draw a land, I think we might be okay, but hopefully they just, like, break and hit lands. They did not. That's not good. And they can't give this haste. That's bad. So I think we just lose. Very nearly lose. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we literally have to block here. And now there's no way. Yeah. All right. So game one, unfortunately, not very good. And again, I keep coming back to the sweeper thing. Enter the God Eternals there. I do think would have been helpful uh, because it would have been able to at least peg one of their creatures and then we can just amass for four uh, and hopefully get uh, a blocker on board. So I do think there's some viability there. We'll keep that also in mind as we go through these games, but uh, still a little unsure about that one. Um, I'm really hoping we can at least get a win with this. Uh, we did okay yesterday. Uh, we got two wins with it, which, you know, it's not bad. Uh, do we keep this? So we do have early interaction if they are an aggressive deck. If they're not an aggressive deck, we don't have a ton. I mean, imagine that they're on Sultai or like Black Blue. They're just going to take one of these two cards, most likely this one first. I don't love this hand. I'm going to mulligan. This I will keep. Uh, and we'll drop the... We'll drop the island here. Uh, I like this much better because it does give us at least two things to do early. Uh, and then, of course, Vraska. And this helps us get to Vraska a little bit quicker, which is good. <coughs> yep. Uh, let's Temple. Mm, also a good card. I think let's leave that on top. Uh, they're probably going to be like Grixis or... Uh, Either the Grixis or just an aggro deck. Aggro deck it is. Uh, so Tyrant Scorn, I think, is going to be amazing. Well, another one. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's Threat Mitigate from the hand first. Yeah, let's do this. Um... And we'll give them that, because they will be swinging in with this. Um, 
so my hope here is obviously that they can't really draw too many other cards. Unfortunately, they did. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to take that down with Tyrant Scorn into Vraska. Oh, duh. I assume they take either Vraska or Tyrant Scorn. Yep. Yep, yep. You got it. Paradise Druid, not a bad draw. I think we play this out here. Uh, if nothing else, just a block. Let's see what they can do. I'm okay trading this off. <laughs> Uh, they could have just pumped this, by the way. That's why I didn't. Wow. Okay. So I do think, because this is the more long-term problem, I'm going to get rid of that. Obviously, they're just going to swing back and either kill it that way or skewer it. Uh, is it target? Yeah, any target. So uh, they've got plenty of options to deal with Frasca. That's not really my concern, though. Uh, I just need to mitigate threats here as best I can. Uh, and instead, they just attack me. That's fine. Now they can just spectacle this. Makes sense. <laughs> Or just deal it straight to me. I mean, they are going to have, yeah, a lot of damage coming through. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Gain at least a life back here. Uh, get something out on the field that does, you know, at least trade. Don't think we want that. We're not going to sacrifice anything. We could have Uroed there as well, so we did have a couple options, but I think uh, getting something down that can at least trade with this is important. And then getting this out of range of just it swinging in and attacking is good. Wow. <laughs> well, that is a very good pull on their end. They're able to just play Liliana out now. <laughs> that is not good. Yep. I guess we grow spiral, spiral here because we just need to draw cards. We're in a very bad position, though, obviously. Uh, let's Uro. Again, just trying to draw as much as possible. The problem is creatures don't get anything done here now uh, because what we need is like a casualties of war. I'm going to, I'm going to sacrifice here. Okay, casualties of war. Well, that's a start. So casualties can kill Liliana, presumably the next token that they create, or just another creature, and then also a land. So maybe we can dig back in this game. We also then have the follow-up of Uro, which is like on point. So maybe we've got something here. Uh, we'll see. Interesting if I could, s well, are they going to attack? No, they'll attack this. Okay. So we can get them down to potentially no permanence on the field. 
Perfect. Draw those lands. Okay. Let's Casualties of War. Destroy land, walker, creature. Uh, yep. That one. And there. Get rid of everything here. They're going to draw a card. And then we'll get rid of that. So that at least clears their board. Good. Now, what do they have? I'm assuming they've got plenty of threats, though. Yeah, there we go. If they get another Lily, I'm going to be so annoyed by that. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, of course. It's only if we have, or if the more cards in hand. Okay. So we can crease this for one, two, three, four, five. I think that's what we do. And I'm okay with sacrificing some lands here to draw some cards. Uh, we also do need that life gain as much as possible here. Next turn, we do have a follow-up Hydroid Crisis. Interesting. Okay. Do they have? I'm assuming they just are trying to spectacle something, which is fine. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. I'm going to attack here. My assumption is they read this as they should block, which they should. No. OK. I'm OK with tossing the Hydroid Crisis here. We have a follow up one, and with multiple walkers on the field, uh, we do have to just worry about our uh, our life total here. So next turn, we absolutely need to gain some life as much as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and do this again. I'm just trying to keep us in the in the game with the life total as much as possible here. Wow. Okay. Good card. Very good card. So. Create a zombie. Decline. Not going to sack anything this time. This does mitigate this threat, so let's do this. Return it, and then they have to exile. That is a more permanent way, obviously, of dealing with that. We'll play Paradise Druid out again just to get threats down. And there we go. Okay. That was a bit more of a grindy game than I expected, but uh, we did win it. That was nice. Very skeptical on that one. Uh, again, I don't know removal-wise if we're just missing a little bit. Maybe we are. Uh, but let's do it one more time. Let's see what we can get. And then uh, hopefully make some changes and then come back with another video for you guys with whatever we've done to it. So... Hopefully you guys enjoy these videos, though. If you do, uh, as always, please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Greatly appreciate it. Any suggestions, by the way, on the deck list, please leave them in the comment section below. Anything that, uh, any suggestions, anything like that, I would love to have. Uh, absolutely. So here we turn two Growth Spiral into, hopefully, turn three Vraska, if we can draw a land. Uh, and Temple is hopefully going to help us get there. <laughs> Uh, and then following that up, again, if we get the, the lands that we need, a Nyssa would be on point. And again against this. Okay. Scrow Spiral. Yep. Throw that out. Uh, so, 
Again, we're against the Rakdos aggro deck. This is the, like, crazy recursive version as well. Uh, let's save ourselves a little bit of damage here. Uh, we do need black. It's Frasca. I am going to destroy one of these just because if they want to use up their mana to bring it back, that's fine. Uh, seriously doubt they will, but uh, it at least slows them down. They're going to swing here. Great. Next turn, we get to Nyssa. And again, we're just doing everything we can. Against these aggro decks, we do everything we can just to save ourselves on the life total here. Uh, that being said, I do have to pay two here, so I can play Nyssa, but I do think it's worth it. Uh... Next turn, we can block and do the same thing we did last game with Growth Spiral, hopefully, and then get ourselves a little bit closer to uh, Liliana, which will definitely, definitely get us into a, hopefully, a strong position. Uh, yeah, we got Vigilance. Let's attack. Give them a little bit of pressure at the very least, and then uh, we'll see what they do. <laughs> I would hate for them to burn out the breeding pool. That would be kind of frustrating. Uh, but we'll we'll see what they can do. Okay. Scribe to the top. Not what we want to see, obviously, but that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. So now they at least, uh, well, we at least get our land off of it at the very least. Now they can take down Nyssa, which is not good. Uh, but again, if we can draw a land, we are in decent position. And we are, again, just saving ourselves life total here as well. So obviously we hate for Nyssa to go down, but not the worst thing in the world. My assumption is they're just going to, uh, yeah, sacrifice uh, my breeding pool, which makes sense. Oh, not what we wanted here. <sighs> I think let's do this for three. Gain a little bit of life. We do get the breeding pool. That's nice. So next turn, at the very least, we will have Lily. Um, so this gives us a blocker. Uh, they can do the same trick. I don't know. I mean, my assumption is they've got four of those. Um, but let's see what they do. Yep, that's fine. I mean, it's not great, but it's fine. Bring gutter bones back. Play it. Yep. Okay. Do we want Uro? I kind of think we do. Well, no, probably not against this deck. No, I I'm going to keep it. I'm going to see. Uh, not 100% sure if that's great or not, considering what their deck is, but... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll see what they do. So my thing here is I'm not 100% sure if it's better to plus or minus here. I'm going to minus. Uh, so if they just sacrifice the two gutter bones, they cannot kill Lily. Uh, which they did. I was going to say if they... Sacrifice the priest and the gutter bones. That just means they can swing back at this, but they lose their priest, which obviously they don't want to do. So they've got a million cards in hand, though. Just going to swing out at us. That's fine. They can play out gutter bones here. Yeah, play out both of them. 
Okay. Yeah, so Uro. <coughs> Gain some life. Draw a card. You do get a land on the battlefield. That can enter tapped. We draw a card. Thanks to Lily. And now we actually get to play out Uro here. Two, three, four, five. Doesn't matter significantly, by the way, on our uh, the cards that we use to escape. So now we kind of just hope they don't have a way to sacrifice this whole thing. Ooh. Enter's taps. Kind of wish we had played it. The uh, Actually uh, put them in untapped, both of them. So that way we could Tyrant Scorn this Priest. Uh, the Priest is really the, the big problem card here. Uh, but this does give us, you know, we can sacrifice this and it's like, okay, that's fine. Uh, and we also draw a card off of it, so. Second priest, okay. This is where, like, some graveyard shenanigans might be useful, like, and one of Ashiok or something like that. Maybe that's just sideboard, but, like, uh, Ashiok really does a number on these kinds of decks. Let's activate. Go ahead and pull this out. That's fine. We'll plus... To destroy one of the priests that way they can't double up on us they can sacrifice it and that's fine uh, that just fizzles that that's no big deal one two three four five six let's do this for six and then i will swing in with a row here don't have a land, that's fine. This just means we have lethal, lethal excuse me, next turn. So uh, if they can't kill specifically Hydroid Crisis, they're not in a good position. And they may be able to, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. This doesn't seem like a great play against us considering we have Lily. Um, I mean, they can... They've got a ton of mana to do a lot of stuff, so, like, maybe that's incorrect, but yeah. Okay, cool. So, we did get two out of the three games. That seems to be our trend. Uh, this deck is really, really fun. I do think there's some work to do, so I think what we'll uh, probably do... Don't know if it'll be next video or not, but we'll uh, we'll add some cards in. We'll talk through that deck list uh, as we add those cards in and see, you know, just how it performs. Is there is there utility in having those sweepers? Is it uh, Enter the God Eternals that we need? What kinds of cards are going to help this deck a little bit? I do think it's good. Don't think it's great, but maybe we can make it that way. So uh, let's end really quick with a Theros pack opening. Let's see what we get. Uh, ugh, not great. Uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Always really, really appreciate the support. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.